Travel and tourism is one of the largest service sector globally in terms of its contribution to the economy. It contributes to the gross revenue, earns foreign exchange and creates huge employment opportunities. Over a period of time travel and tourism has created a niche in the service industry with improved service standards and motivated by the human urge for new experience, adventure, education, and entertainment. Technofunk presents an overview of travel and tourism industry for the benefit of its members. What is the meaning of travel and how it converted into a full-time industry? The term travel originates from the old French word travail which meant heavy labor. Travel refers to the movement of people or objects such as airplanes, boats, trains and other conveyances between various distant geographical locations. Another, etymologically for the word tour as suggested by Theobald in 1994 is that it is derived from the Latin, turnera and the Greek, turnos, meaning a lathe or circle and the movement around a central point or axis. This meaning changed in modern English to represent one's turn and they suggest the action of movement around a circle. Argument is that a circle represents a starting point, which ultimately returns back to its beginning. Therefore, like a circle, a tour represents a journey in that it is a round trip, that is, the act of leaving and then returning to the original starting point, and therefore, one who takes such a journey can be called a tourist. Tourism is travel for recreational, leisure or business purposes. There has been an uptrend in tourism over the last few decades. People have a wide range of budgets and tastes, and a wide variety of resorts and hotels have a developed to cater for them. As per the reports of the World Tourism Organization, in 2010, there were 940 million international tourist arrivals, with a growth of 6.6% as compared to the year 2009. As per their reports France and the United States are the most visited countries in terms of the number of international travelers. Economic growth in China triggered tourist inflow and in 2010. China overtook Spain to become the third most visited country. The components of travel and tourism can be broadly divided into six key areas. We will discuss each of these areas in this slide and this will help you understand the players in this industry. First is travel agent. A travel agent provides information to the people on various travel destinations, advises them of available holiday packages to suit their tastes and budget and chart their travel plan. He would generally sell the travel associated products like currency exchange, car rentals, insurance etc. Second archer operators, tour operators offer holiday packages which comprise of one dot travel like by rail, road or air. Two. Accommodation like hotels, resorts, apartments, guest houses 3. Travel services like airport pick and drop, sightseeing, excursions etc. These tour operators may be the wholesale operators who operate tours only through retail travel agencies or they may be direct sell operators who market their product directly to the public. Third component is lodging and catering. This component consists of those who provide accommodation to the people in the form of hotels, resorts, apartments, camps, guest houses etc. The accommodation may be marketed individually or through the tour operators in the form of package. Direct marketing may require huge costs on advertisement and selling through a tour operator guarantees the occupancy rate throughout a holiday season. These service providers also take care of the catering needs of the people by providing them huge cafeterias, various fast food outlets and house or in the form of a galleria. Travel industry cannot exist without availability of various kinds of transport. Transport providers are those operating any major form of transport. They could be airlines, cruise lines, car rentals, and rail companies. A tourist's choice of transport would depend on the travel budget, destination, time, purpose of the tour, and convenience to the point of destination. Fifth important component is information and guiding. The tourist information and guidance providers include a number of service providers such as those offering insurance, recreational, communication, 
and banking services, government agencies, tour guides, industry associations, packaging agents, ticketing agents, and holiday sellers. And less but the most important of all are the tourist attractions. The principle of attraction is to establish the need for the attraction in a particular location to invite more footfall. It may be a huge theme park, a museum, a gallery, a heritage building, an educational center etc. Many countries see the need to have one or more visitor attraction in the area to widen their appeal and attract huge potential tourists. Wealthy people have always traveled to distant parts of the world, to see great buildings, works of art, learn new languages, experience new cultures and to taste different cuisines. There has been an uptrend in tourism over the last few decades and now national or international travel for short breaks is very common. Tourists have a wide range of budgets and tastes, and a wide variety of resorts and hotels have been developed to cater for them. The terms tourism and travel are generally used interchangeably. However travel has a similar definition to tourism, but implies a more purposeful journey. So the travel could be done for leisure or to accomplish any specific purpose like IT professional traveling on site to meet a customer on his project. Hence tourists can be classified broadly into two types. Business tourists. These people travel to meet their work-related needs like to attend business conventions, meetings, conferences or to meet any purpose which is incidental to the work requirements leisure tourist. These people travel for pleasure. Lately the leisure tourism has emerged strongly owing to changes in lifestyle, consumption pattern of people, growing leisure needs to distress and rejuvenate. Leisure travel may be done for holidays, sports, education projects school trips, family outings, weekend gateways etc. Travel and tourism has become a full-grown industry over a period of time. Let's understand how it impacts all of us. How does tourism industry impact a country? The impact of tourism industry can be classified into the social and cultural impact, economic impact and environmental impact. Social and cultural impact signifies the impact which it creates in terms of social changes in the lives of local people, improvements in infrastructure, lifestyle changes etc. Economic impact can be quantified in terms of monetary benefits and overall economic development of the society. Environmental impact refers to the impact on the nature and surrounding areas. Tourists may have different effects on the social and cultural aspects of life in a particular region depending on the strengths of the region. The effect can be positive or negative. Positive impact. To boost tourism huge money is invested to preserve the local heritage. To improve infrastructure. To provide better local facilities which in turn creates better education, better leisure facilities organizing frequent social events and thus a better lifestyle for the locale people? Yes, interact with the tourists, mix with people from diverse backgrounds which creates a cosmopolitan culture in the region. Due to the demand for better services, varied employment opportunities are created within the region and therefore people do not feel the need to migrate to other cities to earn their living. Negative impact, due to the heavy traffic in the region, the infrastructure may not be able to cope up the increased rush thus leading to overcrowding, poor sanitation which may further lead to diseases brought to the tourists as well as local people. The intrusion of outsiders in the area may disturb the local culture and create unrest among the people. The local people may copy the lifestyles of tourists through the demonstration effect and the result could be loss of native customs and traditions. Some people may enter into criminal activities to fetch easy money from tourists which leads to increased crime and anti-social activities and loss of moral and religious values. Tourism industry has contributes to the economic growth of a country through factors like industrialization, education, advanced technology, higher number of qualified professionals, opening up of foreign markets, 
liberal trade policies and better advertising and strategic marketing. The above factors collectively boost the economic reserves of the region thus leading to rise in income and better disposable income. Tourism can also benefit economies at regional and local levels, as money comes into urban and rural areas which in turn stimulates new business enterprises, greater markets and promotes a more positive image of the area. The income generated helps the national balance of payments, earning revenue through direct taxation as well as from indirect taxes on goods and services purchased by the tourists. Environment is surrounding atmosphere or condition for existence. The impact of tourism on environment is both positive and negative. Positive impact, in order to attract more tourism special emphasis is given on overall beautification of the surroundings. Regular planting of trees and landscaping are done to enhance aesthetics. Huge investment is done to improve the facilities in the area like city areas, shades, proper sanitation, drinking water etc. More emphasis is given to preserve the monuments, heritage structures to attract more tourists. Negative impact, any kind of a development requires some interference with the nature. Overdevelopment comes at the cost of nature. There may be damage to the natural flora and fauna. Local people are displaced for want of coastal area development. With more people in the area, more natural resources are required which leads to depletion of natural resources. Waste disposal problems crop up and without proper measures to handle this problem it may worsen the situation. Due to more footfall, more transport, more noise, improper waste disposal, pollution increases in the area and disturbs the ecological balance of the region. One of the major challenges that tourism industry faces is the fluctuations in currency exchange rates. The inability to know the value of a currency means that long-range tourism prices are especially hard to predict and the fallout from this monetary instability is already impacting multiple tourism support systems. Tourism industry is seasonal in nature and does not guarantee round-the-year flow of income which hampers the overall business setup. Inflation is rising at an alarming and restaurants have had to raise prices or lower their service. Transportation companies have been hard hit. The airline industry is especially vulnerable. Airlines depend on both the food industry and the fuel industry. Already on the margin, airlines can do nothing more than cut services and raise prices. The result of such a situation keeps the leisure travelers stay away from expensive vacations which further hits the overall tourism sector. Tourism industry is a heavily taxed sector in some countries. Various taxes are levied across the entire industry right from tour operators, transporters, airline industry to hotels and these include service tax, luxury tax, tax on transportation, tax on aviation fuel and various taxes on transportation. In addition, these tax rates tend to vary across different states in the country. All these taxes are finally passed on to the travelers in one or the other way thus hampering its growth. This video is brought to you by www.technofunk.com. This video is part of IT Career Guide series. Technofunk is a website helping IT professionals build successful careers. You can access all videos for free at www.technofunk.com. Thank you for watching our video.